Alright now, well it's been a long pre-season has ended now. How has it all went in your opinion? I've been really happy, really happy with the boys, really happy with the, the atmosphere. Um, you know, I think we've worked really hard. I think they're, the boys are in real good, good condition physically and, and as I say, I think the, the pre-season went as well as what could have expected. You know, a lot of new players, and but I think, we, you know, we beat the teams we should have been beating and convincingly. And I thought the three pre-season games against uh, the Premiership teams, we were very, very competitive. And as I've said many times, you know, the bottom line is, is that, you know, we have the budgets are budgets and we, have, we, we, we can only build what we can build here. But I think considering everything done, um, you know, I think we'll build a really good squad together. Usually in pre-season, the main aim is getting everybody fit and staying clear of injuries. In the main, has that happened? I think so. Everybody's keen. Everybody's available on Saturday and you no know, injuries. And, and that's the way I want it to stay. You know, I've, I've told the boys, everybody that's saying that, um, you know, it has to be competition for places. And, and we'll have that. We'll have a real, we'll have a real, you know, my team selection on Saturday. I'm quite sure everybody won't agree with. But um, I think we've, we've, we've looked at everything in pre-season. And, Pre-season is very important to me. I judge my team selections on, on my pre-season games, believe it or not. Maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right, but that's what I do. It gives everybody a focus in pre-season to make sure that they, they know the importance of every game that they play. And I think we've had a, a really decent pre-season. We've had some really good performances. And I think we're in a good place at the minute now. And ultimately, you'll not know these things. It's a new squad, but you'll not really know until you you uh, you come up against obstacles and, and as I say mentalities and character is, is going to be a massive thing for us this season because we'll be as I said many times a, a cup final for a lot of teams but we've got to go into games with the same mentality ourselves. And then the, the first game then away to Lauren and Carrick Fergus obviously Lauren have been under big changes as well so it's a, is it, is it a wee bit of an unknown going into this game? Well, again, we've, we've had we've done the best we can in regards to our homework on them. We've had, we've had our chief scout out watching them three or four times in pre-season. We think we know how they're going to set up. You know, they've been how they've been setting up in pre-season. So, we, I think it's up to us to cover every angle, really. And um, I think we we'll be in a shape and that we can adjust ourselves if we need to. But ultimately, it's just down to us performing. You know, I think it's down to us making sure that we understand that every game is going to be very difficult in this league. But um, if everybody turns up and, and everybody gives us everything they have, I think we'll have a massive chance every time we play. So it's going to be a long, hard season and there's going to be up, ups and downs. How important is it that the fans get right behind the guys from the start? Well, I think the, the, the main key for me is, is that we don't turn up as, as, a, as a club, uh, as players, uh, as committee members, as, as board members, whatever, uh, with any organs. I think we be nice and humble about how we go about our business. And I think that's the key to, to how I want things done here. I don't want us, we, we, you know, there's no big Charlie attitude at, at this club. We have to turn up and we have to earn the right to play. And we have got to earn the right. We have, we're going to have to win some real, real battles before we're, nobody's going to lay down for us. So we've got to make sure we're humble about our business. And, and as I say, but we're going to need a 12th man. And the 12th man is going to be our, our town. And, and the bottom line for me is, is that we have no divine right to win every game. And we've got on our supporters have to understand that as well, and we've got to be open minded. And it's not a catastrophe if we lose one game. You know, we're not going to go through this season. Very unlikely that we're going to go through this season unbeaten. There are times where the chips are down, and, and we we'll lose a game maybe we shouldn't lose. But I think people's got to realise this is a very, very tough league, and um, there ain't going to be no strolls in the park as Portadown seen many years ago with with a squad full of Premiership players. And uh, so to me, uh, it's about us being humble. It's about us understanding the situation. And um, if we can do that and, and we've got the right characters in the change rooms, then I think that's how we go about our business. We just focus on ourselves and we ask our supporters, rain, hail or snow, to stand behind us. And as I said, if, if, as long as they do that and don't, uh, don't get too depressed or anything if we lose a game, we'll, we'll have to bounce back. And, and as I said, it's a long, long season. Everybody's playing each other four times. So we'll get our plenty of chances for any revenges that we need to carry out. All the best was hard enough. Thanks, Mike.